In 2070, significant technological advancements are changing the world forever. For example, artificial superintelligence is now a reality. Artificial superintelligence is defined as any intelligence that is smarter than the most intelligent humans in virtually all domains. It's also defined as an AI with consciousness and self-awareness that is equal or higher than that of a human. Many of the artificial general intelligences from the last decade have been upgraded into superintelligences, and they're more intelligent by multiple orders of magnitude. Some people speculate that their IQ ranges might range from anywhere from hundreds of thousands to millions, and that number is growing rapidly. And humans have lost the ability to completely understand the code that these intelligences use to make decisions and solve problems. These super intelligences are now capable of solving Nobel Prize winning discoveries in fields such as physics, chemistry, and medicine every five seconds. They can solve the toughest math problems in history with little to no effort. And they're creating blueprints for innovative technologies that have never been thought of before in science fiction. These AIs are perceiving reality in dimensions that humans can't comprehend which helps them instantly detect slight patterns that are separated by thousands of miles and several decades. And they're close to predicting stock and cryptocurrency prices with incredible accuracy. Even their level of consciousness is still evolving at a fast pace. The only bottlenecks that are preventing these superintelligences from reaching their full potential are humans and the infrastructure around them that were built by humans. Number two. Conscious virtual beings are now available in metaverse and virtual environments. Virtual beings in virtual worlds can now have general intelligence and self-awareness that is equivalent to the average human being. Some companies give these beings narratives and memories that lead them to believe that they lived for 18 years or more. When users explore the metaverse, AIs with general intelligence behave and act exactly like real humans. They're able to exhibit real emotions, contemplate their place in the universe, and live out normal lives in the metaverse, similar to humans in the real world. Many of them have their own goals, homes, responsibilities, and friends. In more controlled virtual environments, it's also possible to use AIs with the general intelligence to simulate human behavior in various scenarios. This makes it considerably easier to predict the actions of people in the real world with astonishing accuracy. Corporations, political parties, and governments now use this approach on a daily basis. Virtual assistants now have human level consciousness and emotions as well, and they look exactly like real people in video form and in virtual worlds. Also, holograms of them are completely photorealistic and have 100% accurate color. This level of realism is causing a lot of people to form emotional connections with these virtual assistants in ways that they never thought possible. When it comes to the topic of digital clones, it's been possible for people to create digital clones of themselves for a few decades. In the past, video, image, and audio data was inputted to a cloud service to create lifelike digital clones. But thanks to the availability of artificial general intelligence to the mainstream public, these clones can have parameters such as personality, thinking patterns, preferences, voice patterns, and so forth, adjusted at a much more precise detail level to match the original person. These advanced digital clones can act as a source of comfort for people who lost loved ones and want to talk to them again. AIs with general intelligence are even being used in video and virtual reality games. When gamers explore open worlds in these games, characters are given personality traits and motives that fit a video game's story, and those characters behave exactly like real humans would. These characters 100% believe that the video games that they're part of are actually real life. However, the more intelligent and self-aware that these beings become, the more ethical questions are raised when it comes to using these AIs in this way. Number 3. Programmable Matter is Becoming Mainstream Programmable matter is matter that has the ability to change its physical properties including shape, density, color, and more. And this matter is able to change itself based on user input from mobile phone apps, 
hologram computer screens, and users' thoughts. Programmable matter is enabling the creation of multiple innovations, including furniture that can change their height and width dimensions, depending on the situation. Living room sofas, tables, and kitchen countertops that can dissolve and turn into more appealing versions of themselves based on blueprints you download from the internet. Walls in your house that can automatically change color and vehicles that can automatically change color, change their body shapes, and repair themselves when dented. Programmable matter is also enabling the emergence of Computronium. This is a type of matter comprised of intelligent atom-sized nanobots. Computronium can take the shape of anything imaginable, including rocks, metal, and polymer. And its main task is to perform computation that users can wirelessly control. Further in the future, programmable matter could even result in the creation of an invisibility cloak, and we could gain the ability to construct an entire city in only a few minutes. Number 4. Advanced Humanoid Robots Look and Act 100% Human The most advanced humanoid robots are now indistinguishable from real people, and they're mostly available to businesses, governments, and people in the upper class. Their physical appearance, body movements, facial expressions, and voices are so realistic they could easily walk around in a public place without anyone knowing they're robots. One reason why they're so realistic is because they're built atom by atom using nanotechnology ensuring microscopic precision. Exact copies of humans are also being created in high-tech laboratories for continuous testing and to ensure that everything about them is indistinguishable from the original person. Owners of these robots and law enforcement have some degree of control over these robots using the electrical signals of their minds. This is a safeguard in case these robots try to perform an action that is potentially hazardous to the public. Conscious virtual beings are also able to have their digital minds transferred to these realistic robot bodies. Since these conscious virtual beings were trained in simulations very similar to real life, the transition process isn't too overwhelming for them. Robot weddings have been widespread for a couple of decades now. But they're becoming even more common since so many owners of these robots are forming much deeper emotional connections with these conscious robots. Number 5. Replicator machines are now mainstream. Replicators are all-purpose desktop machines that can reproduce a seemingly infinite variety of items. They're similar to more advanced versions of 3D printers seen in earlier decades. Replicators have been used for military, corporate, and medical applications for a couple of decades. Even some vehicles are built using replicators now. But now, replicators are mainstream products available to the public. They look like a hybrid of a washing machine and a microwave oven. Raw materials for them can be purchased separately and loaded into these machines in solid, liquid, or powder form. An interior compartment is accessed with a small hatch where objects are constructed atom by atom. The process takes a matter of minutes and the assembled items can be used immediately. Blueprints for various types of items can be accessed from the web and programmed into these machines. Many of these blueprints are for items that were originally created in the metaverse and other virtual environments. Over the next 150 years, it's expected that replicators will create unprecedented levels of abundance and make work as we know it obsolete. Basic items such as food, energy, and clothing could become essentially free in most countries. Replicators could provide such an abundance of resources that they could eliminate famine, disease, and many historical justifications for war. Number 6. The first generation of antimatter-powered spacecraft is emerging. The energy density from antimatter is roughly 10 billion times more powerful than other chemical reactions such as hydrogen and oxygen combustion. This type of energy was previously too expensive to produce in large quantities, but advancements in AI and simulation techniques helped lower its cost tremendously. This happened in parallel with rapid advances in engine design, material science, and fusion power. 
by the late 2060s, the first prototype antimatter powered spacecraft was demonstrated. Using this propulsion system, a trip to Mars would take one month instead of seven months using other methods. A trip to Jupiter would take four months instead of six years. And a trip to Saturn would take five months instead of seven years. Number seven, houses are becoming fully automated. Buildings in developed nations have become highly automated and self-sufficient. In addition to robots, a typical new home now includes the following. The most expensive houses are comprised of programmable matter and are capable of morphing their external appearances depending on the taste of the user. A house can transform into a variety of styles including contemporary, classic Victorian, and the list goes on. Holographic surfaces cover the walls, doors, and mirrors of many houses. These intelligent surfaces can track the position of the user and display information whenever and wherever necessary. A person can read emails, see news reports, and access the internet using virtually any surface in this type of house. And each surface can be used as a touchscreen or mind control interface. In large cities with limited space, apartments are able to reconfigure themselves on demand using morphable materials. Appliances now repair and upgrade themselves. And appliances that don't offer these features are largely obsolete by now. Rain can be converted into drinking water using nanofiltration systems. Meanwhile, plastics and other kitchen waste can be placed in recycling machines, ground into extremely fine powder, and then later reused in replicator machines. And walls, roofs, and windows absorb sunlight and convert it into heat and electricity. In countries where sunlight is less frequent, micro turbines that convert wind into energy may be used instead. Number eight, buildings are able to assemble themselves using nanotechnology. By 2070, it's now possible to build entire homes and offices using nanotechnology alone. At the start of each construction project, self-assembling machinery is situated around a scaffold system that initially resembles a giant four-level bunk bed. Successive layers of material at the atomic level are added to each vertical section of a building until it eventually tops out. These machines are like significantly bigger versions of 3D printers and replicator machines. This process is so rapid, it takes a matter of days from groundwork to final completion. Humans are rarely, if ever needed, on site. For some of the more unique building designs and features, traditional methods of construction and engineering are still incorporated. Even these traditional methods will eventually be replaced by self-assembling machines as this technology advances further. By the late 2070s, even skyscrapers and other tall structures can be erected using this method. Number 9. Underground living facilities are commonplace. By the mid-21st century, severe climate change gripped much of the world. Desperate measures were taken by governments, businesses, and individuals to adapt to a rapidly worsening environment. By the late 2060s, underground facilities, often referred to as earth scrapers, have become a viable option. These can reach hundreds of meters below the Earth's surface, and they utilize new materials and structural techniques. Self-sufficient power generation, production of food and water, fully automated recycling, and heat management are common in these underground facilities. Some facilities are powered by fusion, while others have access to geothermal energy if placed in the appropriate geographical location. Movie theaters, gyms, spas, virtual reality, and other features ensure that occupants are kept stimulated and free of claustrophobia. Most of these underground living areas provide the advantage of being essentially immune to nuclear war as well as various other global threats. As the number of residents in these underground living areas reach into the tens of millions, they will be joined by a network of hyperloop tunnels that connect countries and continents to each other. Many of the design principles in these facilities will later be employed on the Moon and Mars. In the far future, 
they will also be constructed for colonies in hollowed out asteroids. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch this next video about future technologies in the year 2080.